Hi guys, Steph here. Hey, look what we've got here. Well, what we've got here is my most recent pen haul. And, well, I thought I'd share them with you people out there. Now, this pen haul I purchased from a gentleman who... Well, he was he, he's, he's actually now retired, but he was... He was an antique dealer and basically I got in touch, long story short, got in touch, We, uh, I went to view the pens, we agreed a price and here they are. Now, as you'll see, there's lots of different ones, there's some um, sort of more modern ones and some of you people will know I'm more of a vintage pen man, but either way, they are pens and what I'll be doing... Um, a lot of these pens I've actually already reviewed on my channel so unfortunately what I will not be doing if I've actually already reviewed a specific pen it won't be reviewed but there's one or two here that I don't think I've done so yeah hopefully we can have a couple more videos coming up on uh, on some different pens but the majority of these pens nice and simply we're going to restore them service them and basically we're going to find new homes for them so you know if there's anything here that may be of interest to you people maybe get in touch with me um, if there's anything specific you'd like to see or reviewed again as long as I'm not already reviewed that particular pen then well I'm sure we can do that for you so let's basically show you what what we've got let's pop them down on here and let's try and keep it sort of as quick as possible. There we go. We've got a pack of 51. We've got another pack of 51. Um, we've got a Schaefer Snorkel. As with a lot of these pen holes, occasionally, yeah, well, you have to buy the rubbish with the good stuff as well. And uh, this one, I don't know if you can actually see, has got a crack down on the barrel. So what we'll do, we'll find a new barrel for it and... Hopefully we'll get it working. There we go. A little pack of Slim Fold. A lovely Conway Stewart. Um, I believe that's a number 15. That'll come up lovely. And uh, somebody will enjoy the pen for many years. We've got a lovely large uh, pack of Dewfold fountain pen. As you can see, missing the, the jewel and the clip. So that is worth... What we'll do, we'll find a clip and a jewel for that. Um, looks like a pack of 17 there. Okay, so a pack of 17. Again, another pen without the jewel and the clip. This is actually a Chatsworth fountain pen. Um, I think I've actually done your review on a Chatsworth, but not this colour, so who knows. There we go, a lovely pen, very recognisable. I don't know if you can see the transparency. A very nice Parker Vacuumatic. A little Platinum fountain pen. Although I say a little Platinum. Still comes with a 14 karat gold nib. So it'll come very... Well, it'll be very much useful to somebody. Um, there we go. Nice recognisable pen. A Parker 45. We've got a lovely pencil here. Look at this pencil. It's a... Well, let's have a look at the... What it says on the tab. It's a fine point pencil. You can see it's got 44 18 karat. It's actually got a lovely 18 karat gold band. So I know there's people out there that collect pencils. Now, this is a lovely pen. Interesting. It's a Waterman... Ideal uh, lever fill. Unfortunately, it's got um, it's sort of been engraved. But the nice thing about it, it's got an interesting uh, red Waterman fountain. Uh, sorry, red Waterman nib, which is a lovely flexy nib. Unfortunately, no cap. We need to find a cap for this one. Um, we've got a. Another Waterman, I think this is a 100 year pen, as you can see to the bottom there, like a lot of these pens, it sort of literally sort of crystallises and breaks off, so, well, not too sure what we'll do with that, but a lovely pen, 
um, a burgundy, yeah, burgundy Parker 61. Again, somebody will enjoy that. Another Parker 51 in black. Oh, a cross cartridge. <laughs> um, what's this one? Another, oh, this is a lovely Parker 65. One of my favourite nibs. Okay, so that, again, somebody will enjoy that. We've got a lovely Conway Stewart, not too sure exactly what model it is. No cap, but I think I may have a cap for this particular pen. So once again, it'll be restored, etc. And we've got a Waterman. Now, if I can sort of take a look over the bat, over the camera. No, I can't see, to be quite honest with you. If you just bear with me, let me get my loop. I'll take a look and, yep. It's a Waterman 877 fountain pen. So again, we'll see what we'll do with that particular pen. So, oh, and what we've got is a spare cap there off a Schaefer. So we'd need to find the rest of the pen to that. Not only do we have these particular ones, but we've got more as well. So in no particular order, there we go. A... Parker 51 again. This is actually the Vacuumatic and it's in this, I think they term it as a midnight blue. So that'll make a lovely pen to restore. Uh, we've got one in this little box here. Um, a Parker do fold. Unfortunately, again, the blind cap is missing. So once we find a blind cap for that, that'll make a lovely pen as well. A Parker 45. Okay, let me just pop that down there. Uh, we've got a cased Schaefer fountain pen. Lovely everyday writers. Uh, lovely no-nonsense pens they are. We've got a cross box. And inside the cross box, we've got a lovely ballpoint pen. Again, there's actually collectors, collectors that like... Them, these particular cross ballpoint pens um, let's have a look here <coughs> right what we've got in here actually is one that I think I will um, review um, it's one of my favourite modern fountain pens just to give you a sneak ok that's all you're getting <laughs> ok so what I'll do I'll review that one if you want a clue it's sort of a nautical based uh, modern fountain pen we've got a Parker ballpoint a jotter so there we have that um, what we've also got look at that a lovely Parker 65 pencil and ballpoint pen in beautiful condition so all we need is to find a grey Parker 65 to fit this particular set so if anybody's got a Parker 65 in grey out there please please let me know uh, what else have we got here there we go a lovely Parker 61 with the original box um, again what we got in here all right this is actually a nice one look at that a lovely Swan, well not a swan maybe, yeah a swan, but this is the, sorry not a swan, it's a blackbird and as you can see there we've got the original sticker, blackbird in gorgeous condition, so what we'll do, we'll just simply service that one and again, somebody will enjoy that for many years to come uh, what else have we got, there we go once again, another Parker 61. So a lot of Parker 61s and 51s. Look at this one. In the original sort of outer outer sleeve. Let's take it out, open it up. And look at that. I love, this is actually a Parker 65. And there you go. If you can see the, the cap there is this lovely what we term as a consort cap very sought after gorgeous pen so actually let's, let's just 
we'll pop that back in the box afterwards um, we've got a couple of modern pens here Lalex which I believe are Italian made pens look at that that's a lovely pen a lovely yellow and I believe a silver cap to it as well so let's pop that to one side and what we've also got is another Lalex this is actually in sterling silver so a little bit modern for me but somebody out there will enjoy it we've also got a lovely cross ballpoint pen in this lovely pearl pearlescent white with chrome again there's people out there that are now collecting these cross pens there you go a couple of little pencils I think one's a Schaefer so once again and last but not least the final one is another cross and once again a gorgeous pen this is so I'll actually be reviewing this so let's just give you a sneak sneak preview there you go look at that <laughs> that's all you're getting because we'll review that one it's a gorgeous gorgeous fountain pen so that's it basically that's my latest pen haul as I said the majority of these pens will be looking for new homes if there's anything that may be of interest to you why not let me know um, some of them will need to be restored to be serviced some like this one are ready to go to new homes so I hope you've enjoyed looking at my little latest pen haul as much as I enjoy showing them to you people as always don't forget leave a comment below give the video a thumbs up as well don't be shy and don't forget we've still got a few problems out there people please be safe but for now I'll just say bye bye for now <laughs>